Today I'm profiling my Sylvans for you. Starting off with our monsters, we run triple of Hermitry, of course, and triple of Sage. Nothing too much uh, unique there. Um, they're just your, your powerhouse of the deck, and running three and three is just perfect. Never been bad for me. I run two Flower Knights because um, a prim uh, primary focus of the deck is uh, Barkion. Um, plus, just generically, he's a decent beat stick and gives you a normal summonable excavation that doesn't leave you with a dead guy on the field. Uh, I run one Marsh Leaf. He's the reason I picked up the deck in the first place. Um, and the day I take him out completely is the day I quit playing Sylvans. <laughs> uh, next I run two Princess Sprout. Um, she's recyclable and you don't really need to see her th about uh, three times. She's searchable as well. Um, fantastic. She gets you your six plays off. She gets you, actually she gets you a lot of your synchro plays off as well. Um, and she's just fantastic and I'm not sure if I would even consider doing a different ratio than that. Uh, I run two Peacekeeper um, because just in general it's a fantastic guy, he does do double excavations, especially summon back your, your Lone Fire bosses from Grave, just fantastic. I run, run one Cherub Sprout, it's a little bit different for me, it took me a while to get convinced to do it and then I saw how good he was and getting Princess Sprout off so well and now with Princess Sprite out he's just so much better and awesome. <clears throat> Next I run Triple Lone Fire Blossom, you can, it's a plant deck so I, I do it. Uh, I run Triple Rose Lover because she's relative, She's very rarely ever dead, um, be it your hand, she's, she's uh, fodder for Sylvania, um, be it engraved, you can get out any monster, she's immunity from traps, fantastic card all around. Uh, I run ro ro one Rose Paladin, um, it searches out your big dudes, um, and whenever she destroys a monster by battle, you get to, uh, yeah, especially summon one monster, plant monster from your hand or deck in defense position. That's not something people do too often, usually you just use it for the, the uh, search ability. Um, a new addition, one dandelion. Um, this has been uh, thrown in and out of Sylvan decks for a long time, but I think now with uh, Lynx and the ability to go into Firewall Dragon, it just becomes so much better. Uh, I'm running out to our tuners. We run a Spore, Copy Plant, Gloat Bulb. Gloat Bulb is probably my favorite in the aspect that you can make Barky on a little bit easier, and he's just alive always in, in Grave. Uh, Spore is great as well. Uh, Copy Plant, I was contemplating taking out, but just the ability to make ranks or um, exceeds is just or, or Synchros, it's, it's just fantastic. <clears throat> Moving on to our spell cards. We're on Triple Sylvan Charity because it's your draw power of the deck. Um, fantastic card, makes the deck. It's a, it's a graceful charity for Sylvans that is better. <laughs> it's fantastic. We're on Double Sylvania and Terraforming. Am I, um, I like this little ratio a little bit better because that way you don't have dead Sylvanias in your hand. You can just go Terraforming and use it as a deck thinner. I just like it a little bit better that way. Uh, we're on Triple Miracle Fertilizer because it's a fantastic card. Again, plant deck, you probably want to run three anyway. We're on two Fragrant Storms this is a relatively new addition to the deck for me. Um, I didn't think I'd like it, but with the addition of Dandelion and just so many other options just to be able to do with it, it's I've not disliked it since I put it in there. Uh, next I run two Mark of the Rose. This is fantastic, especially nowadays with uh, links. You can steal your opponent's monster, use them as a link material, use them as excuse me, you can a secro. Um, it's just so many different fun little options you could do with um, Mark of the Rose, and it's not something most people see coming. Um, and uh, just use your plants you've already used up, and and uh, it's fantastic. I run one dark hole. You can swap this out for a geki. Um, I just like this as dark hole because it's just uh, it's just better, and I have more of them. Uh, one one for run because <clears throat> seeing those tuners turn one is fantastic, and being able to go into a a uh, one turn a chariot beast is fantastic. Uh, Foolish burial set up again, set up your glow bulb, set up a lot of stuff in grave, set up your rose lovers, it's just fantastic. Soul charge, rounding up our main deck because this is what really made the deck broke in the first place, and this is one of the decks, one of the decks, of course, that got uh, Soul Charge limited to one, and so we still abuse the one that we have. Moving we'll on to our extra deck, we run one Sylvan Princess Sprite. I'm so happy that she finally got released. Um, she's fantastic. Um, you get it to excavate a card if the spell card adds your hand. Uh, once during a detaching seeds for tail, especially summon a plant type monster from your graveyard. It's just fantastic all around card. Uh, one one and one because we have a ability going rank fours. This is my personal favorite. You can swap this out for Castell or anything you want to. Uh, rank sevens we have a number eleven big eye, flare metal, and arena. Um, each one of these is a powerhouse in the deck. Um, and easy to go into, um, and I don't think this is like, you don't really need more than just three, or even, like, if you want to swap out one of these and just leave it at two, it's still fantastic, and I wouldn't, 
change this for a while. Um, next for our rank 8s we run one Alsei and one Titanic Galaxy. Alsei because you can get more pluses off of him, plus he's a fantastic guy in general in, the, in terms of defense, or even his offensive capabilities are not too bad. And Titanic Hope Arbiter because just being able to, again, I like the Cheerio Beast, so I want to negate as many spells as possible. Our, our links, we run a Deco Talker and a Firewall Dragon. Um, you could go into additionally, like you could probably <coughs> justify throwing in some of other things to go off of the uh, the Dandelion, but I, I kind of just like these two as we go, and uh, it's pretty easy to make either one of them because there's a lot of times where we end up with a field that's kind of full and clogged and you just need to eliminate stuff, use them as leak materials, and get pluses off it. And when you have uh, awkward levels on the field, it's nice to be able to just go to Deco Talker or Firewall. Uh, moving on to our synchros, we're on a perfect Herald, or sorry, Herald of the Arclight. Uh, not sure your piece, because there he is. Uh, Brionic, because I did used to have a Trishula, but sixes are just a little bit more easier to see in here. Uh, Rose, uh, Black Rose Dragon, because being able to get her second five effect off is pretty darn cool. Uh, Crimson Blader, or our eight, I like it a little bit better than the mate, because he has the same stats, but you can uh, abuse the ability to go over. Um, powerhouses, especially nowadays, where there's a lot of them. And one Leo, the Cape of Secret, uh, Keeper of the Sacred Trees, because again, he's pretty decent, uh, easy to go into, and a fantastic guy. Gets over Masterpiece pretty darn easily. That's going to wrap it up for my Sylvan deck. Um, this is a fantastic deck that I, I've been working on for, ever since the first support has come out. Um, and uh, I may not be the best with it, but uh, this is definitely a build that I've been working and put a lot of effort into. I've done a lot of testing, it's seemed pretty darn successful, in my opinion. Um, and it's something that you can utilize in, in leaks that makes, that can push even more so. Um, there's definitely so many different op uh, options and possibilities. Um, having the ability to go into uh, any secret you want, just about, um, one through eight in terms of XCs, um, links, it's just going to become so much better, and I hope you give it a shot. Um, let me know your opinions, any suggestions whatsoever. I'm always open to them. Anyway, thank you very much, and have a great day.